Well, now that the weather is starting to turn colder, a lot of people are thinking about winter recreation. There's skiing, snowmobiling, and ice skating. And at Brant Lake near Chester, that recreation is also on motorcycles. In tonight's Eye on Kevin Land, we talk with the organizers of the annual ice racing event who are putting a whole new spin on ice races this year. They're fast. They're loud. Sometimes they're furious. And Jorgensen's down. I've had quite a few bad wrecks, but if you're scared to crash, you might as well not get on a bike. 17 year old Owen Gotch of Hartford, who has been ice racing since he was four years old, absolutely loves the thrill of riding fast on ice, especially on Brant Lake. Everybody likes this track out here. It's nice, big. I mean, you can really use your horsepower. To ice race, you have to make some modifications to the quads and bikes. Their tires are covered in thousands of tiny screws that dig into the ice. You get a lot more traction just because of the screws and stuff. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's different, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same. The ice races are hosted by the shipwreck owners, John and Melissa Dugan. This is their third year of being involved. It is a lot of work, um, but I mean, it's definitely worth it. We didn't really know a lot about ice races before we bought the shipwreck, and we kind of just jumped in with both feet. And we've met so many people that ice race um, just, you know, around Chester and Sioux Falls and surrounding areas. So, I mean, really, it's just fun to see them do it. Generations, kids and parents and grandparents. And so it's, we've just met a lot of people that do it, and they love it. And it's just tons of fun. It's a great tradition to keep going. I think the, uh, the nice part about here is, is you're able to watch ice races from inside the restaurant. So... Uh, like when the little kids come and do like the 50 cc's and the small bikes, grandparents can watch from inside the bar, it's very close to the ice. Uh, and it's just nice, like Melissa said, that it's been here for so many years. It's a small community, so this is a big thing for the community to uh, gear up and, and just get us through winter time. You know, it's, it's been a rough year, especially in the bar business, and uh, I just think it's, this will be a nice thing to kind of get things back on track for 21. While the racers, who are either on four wheels or two, enjoy the ice, the Dugans enjoy meeting so many new people. So it's really important for our business uh, to keep us going. You know, we're a lake bar, and there's not not a lot of business coming in from uh, from out of town in the middle of the winter. And, and it brings people together. It brings them out to the bar, and they get to experience uh, something different and get to experience the shipwreck. The Dugans admit they couldn't host the ice races without the partnership with so many great sponsors in the area. They've really uh, poured cash into this thing to try to make it work, and we really appreciate that. They also appreciate racers like Gotch, who have committed to coming here and having a little fun during a couple of months in the cold. Just going fast, it's fun. I mean, you get out here with your family and come out to the shipwreck and just enjoy the ice races. And the shipwreck will kick off its racing season in January and host events every Sunday through February, weather permitting, of course. And they're also planning something new this year that benefits the racers even more, but they aren't ready to make that announcement just yet. For more information on the ice races, we have posted a link to the Facebook page under this story on Kettleland.com.